In this video, I'm going to show you how to copy, um, if you've been creating a checklist in a previous card, how to copy it to a checklist card itself. So I'm, this will make sense in a second. So if I come out of here for a moment, throughout my boards, I'm just going to show you, I have a lot of boards. And I also have checklists. And it wasn't until the other day I just thought, actually, it would make sense to have a card that has just got my checklist templates in it. And so I've created one here. This is my checklist templates. I uploaded an, an image. It's something I made in Canva and um, super easy to do. If you don't want to have the cover show up at the top and you just want text, you can just remove the cover, but the image will stay there as an attachment if you want it to, or you can just delete it. So I have like a day, well, this was my daily checklist yesterday. Um, I also have different daily, so I've got my daily vitals checklist. I've got all sorts of different checklists. I've got a checklist. So when somebody fills in the type form for my boot camp, um, so it helps me go through what I need to, to check with them. But also more importantly, if I've got a new member on my team, I can share this with them. And it's just something easy for them to, um, to sort of follow while they get their feet under the table. I was, because I've got, like I said, I've got checklists all over the shop. It wasn't until I just was looking for another checklist that I realized that you can copy um, a checklist that you've put somewhere randomly into your checklist templates list here. So I'm just going to make a card here just for the for the sake of it. I'm going to do a check checklist example. And then we're going to go into here and we're going to make a checklist. So empty card at the moment, I'm going to click checklist, and I'm going to call it um, new coach training checklist just out of interest. So this is just a dummy. So uh, welcome new coach into private ah, Facebook group, uh, arrange ESR call with new coach, um, uh, uh, send new coach, the new coach checklist. And I'll, you know, it could go on and on and on and on and on. So I'm going to just come out of that now. And I, you know, I've something I've randomly created can be whenever it was. And then I'm thinking, oh, damn, I should have put that checklist into my checklist uh, card so that I've got easy access to it. So then I've got all my checklists in one place. So I'm going to whiz down to activity, so the bottom of my activity. And I am, oh, actually, no, I'm not, sorry. I'm going to um, go to checklist again. I'm going to make a new check, as though I'm making a brand new checklist. And I'm going to call my checklist new coach training checklist, which is what I've just made. So I'm going to click that. And then it says here, copy items from. Click on there. And I've got the new coach training checklist. I've got all sorts of different checklists here that I've made before, but new coach training checklist, add. And now instead of me having to go in and pull all the various items from the checklist that I, I made at the bottom of, uh, let me come out of this, sorry of this pile here, the checklist example, it's now very tidily sat in my list of checklist templates. Um, if you want that to be at the top as well, all you need to do is grab it and you can drag it right up to the top of your Trello card. And we'll just put it there. So that's right at the top, so you can drag it around. So if you're, if you've sort of, you've got into Trello, you've been making a few checklists, um, and you're thinking, ah, I want to put them all in one card to keep them tidy and safe. I highly recommend you do, because if you're anything like me, I'm thinking, where the heck are my other checklists now? Um, at least you can go in here and, you know, you've got them and it's easy to find them. And also, you know, what you could, another thing you can do is just go up here and you can type in checklist. And that will bring up all the various checklists that you may have previously made. It's it takes a bit of a time to find them, um, but it does mean that you can then um, you can find your checklist and add them all to that checklists card. So I just wanted to share that with you. It's something I've just discovered myself, and uh, hope it's helpful.